Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Hacker Technology. So today's video is about how you can install Kali Linux on Windows 10 using WSL2. My supporters on Instagram requested me to make a video on this, so here it is. So here in this video, the command I am going to tell you are already written on my blog post. You can copy these commands from there. I will provide the link for this in the description. Okay, so first step you need to do is open your PowerShell as an administrator and type this command. This will enable your Windows subsystem feature. After this, type this command. This will enable your virtual machine platform. Now after entering these commands, you need to restart your PC to enable these features. Now after restarting your PC, click on this link to download Linux kernel package. You can easily find this link in my blog post. After that, open PowerShell again and type this command to set WSL2 as the default version. Now we will install Kali Linux. So in order to do that, open Windows Store and search for Kali Linux. Here you need to download and install this. After downloading, you need to launch the app. I have already done that, but when you will do it, it will ask for the username and the password. You just need to set that. Okay, so we will update and upgrade the packages by typing this command. Your Kali Linux is now installed and you can download and run any tool here. But to access the GUI version, you further need to follow this step. Here, write this command. This will take around 15 to 20 minutes to download. After this, you simply need to type sudo kex whenever you want to fire up the GUI. And here it is Kali Linux on your Windows 10 without dual boot in. If somehow you get an error, then you can type this command kex kill kex stop to solve the error and then run kex again. Oh. 